Let's hit the center. This is pretty similar to the last game. Let's take. But this time, they seem to be doing the move order a little bit better. Let's capture. We don't like this opening. <laughs> we don't like this one. Let's take it off the board. We don't like this opening at all. Let's um the bishop out. Rain. King's gonna have to move off the line. Yeah. Let's go for the basic doubling. Rook protection or moving the knight. And then they'll be ramping down here with these pawns. I don't think they'll let us get that though. No. Go here, he just drops there, doesn't he? Just blocking. Hmm. Blocking. No, I can't move the bishop there. Bit of a useless bishop yet again. Push. Takes, takes, still gets this pawn push. <laughs> We're not getting away from that. Ooh, maybe not. Nothing can defend it after that. I might as well just take it. Or is there any of this business? Mm. X ray, get it off the board. Still got the x-ray, anything we can do. Probably not going to be fast enough, but the knight can't move anyway. 
Let's see if we can. Obviously, we're not going to be fast enough. The king is going to move either here or what well, can't move there or there. Yeah, so it does. So we can still do this, but the knight can move. Doesn't have a check on our king, but we can get his rook off the board. But he's going to take the pawn with the knight. It's going to take the pawn with the knight. We don't have to take, but we're going to lose the pawn. There's no tricks here. Well, there is a trick, you know. So if we just did this, and if they did take, then we'd just come here. And that's kind of like a checkmate, because it can't go anywhere. That is correct, isn't it? Go here if he takes one of the pawns, whichever, because we're giving them a gift. It's not got a check on our king. We could just go there, don't we? I'm going to go with it. Got a greedy munch, one of them. Okay, so it looks like we're taking the rook off the board. There's a check here. He hides. So, yeah, gonna have to take the rook off the board. I thought that was a mate, shame. Okay, take the rook. Move the bishop. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, uh, dear. I was so set that that was a, let's just bring the bishop here. Now this knight's gonna, uh, has it got my king? Not yet, if we start moving up, does it have my king? No, it's not gonna go there, it's not gonna go there. So we're probably safe moving the king up a little bit towards attacking the knight. Yes. If we move it one more up, is he? No, he still can't go anywhere there, so he'll have to go backwards. Safe haven here, because this king's protecting, but it's also attacking the pawn. It's it. Gotta be careful sending the knight all over the place, come round and stealthily take all my pawns. But it's moved away from the knight, but he's going to be going to hit the knight. He's still got the protection here because the king is there. Hit the knight, and he's going to put a check on our king here. And we move up, but then we don't really have anywhere square to go. Unless he keeps coming round, attacking, then we move up, attacking the pawn. Something along them lines. It's not smooth. So if we go here because his king's probably wanting to get here. Has he got any checks on the king? Not really. Let's move the king up again. Don't know why we're, this pawn's not going anywhere. It's just keeping his king there forever. But that might be a positive for us. It's just that we're not going to get here if he keeps his knight there forever. <laughs> because we can't get in here. We can't get in there. Their pawns are better positionally, so they probably are going to win out when they start jumping down here because this is all, yeah, this is all locked down now. Mm hmm. Might have to give the pawn up. But I can't get in anywhere. It's all locked down. Yeah, so his pawn majority on this side is going to win. I'm going to run out of moves. So I'm going to end up having to come backwards and that's going to give their king this space here. Oh, Zug's wanged out of the game. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to go backwards or move the bishop backwards and forwards or something. But this is potentially, no, maybe not, maybe not. Let's just hang fire, we'll see if the brave. Hmm. We'll just react to what they're going to do. But if they had anything about the oh boy, the knight can't go there, get taken. So this one needs to be down so it to get for the knight to get into action. What does he start doing? I don't really I can't see what the knight can do. It's blocked off everywhere. Apart from this square. I know the thinking, is it my go? Oh, it's my go. <laughs> what, how did that happen? What did that? Oh, I moved that and then they moved that. All right, and I said, I'm just going to have to move the bishop. But if I do move the bishop, it gives him that. If I move it here, he takes the pawn. Uh, don't want to move the king. Oh, I moved the bishop. It's not really doing any damage there. Gives him the creed has to go here, here, starts jumping in here, gets the pawn. Mm. Oh, I'm not liking that. Not liking that, but there's nothing else to do. If we leave the bishop here, if it does go boom 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 then I suppose we can take the knight off the board here but that is not the best I don't think at all because this pawn is going to go our king can come for this one maybe our king can get to their pawn faster than the... oh what's going on he's not he's not playing ball can't go there. Nope, don't like it. Don't like it. It's making it look like he's going for a draw, but he's going to be hitting this square. He's going to realize, ooh, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come in there. Because if I'm going up and down, maybe I'm going to be a tempo out in terms of going up and down with the bishop. So maybe that my bishop won't be protecting this square. So if he goes one, and then I go back again, like I'm doing my stuff. Then he goes one. Then I come back again. Then he moves his king like he did. And then I go back again. That's when he can jump in here and attack the pawn. So, obviously, I won't be going back and back because if his knight does move, our king can still move here. He's just doing that. Is he going for a draw? Ah, threefold. I'll take it. Nice one. Let's take the pawn. Take the queen with a check. Let's take the pawn, attacking the bishop. Bishop comes back here, protecting the pawn. Attack the bishop. I think. <laughs> Attack the bishop. Ooh, smaller piece, second higher piece, maybe? Or shall we just look to get pieces off the board? Let's just look to get the pieces off the board. Oh, it looks like they've left the game. Oh, I'm going to say it doesn't really look like a leaving the game situation.
All right, so we've got options. We can take the pawn. So we'll be a pawn up. Bishop takes, then we take the bishop for free. This knight is protecting the bishop here. So I'm um, going to take with a check on the king. And going to take the bishop because it's protecting the knight. So that was very quick devastation there. Obviously take these online games with a very tiny, 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 tiny pinch of salt, as I've mentioned before. It would be lovely if you could play over the board games like this, especially for the tournament coming up. That would be fantastic, but that is not going to happen. And we just keep getting lucky in these online games. They're still playing on and we can keep the pressure here and just castle. Is there anything else? I think we're just going to castle, not going to show about it out. Let's castle. Unless he's going for the rook for the bishop and the knight. So we can move the knight out of the way, but this pawn is going to get hit. So we may as well go for a defense. Yes. Oh, do you know, he's um, probably coming here to attack the bishop. Bishop can come here. Hmm. That's how the signal's going anyway. I think he's going to be attacking the bishop with the knight. And the bishop supporting our knight. Oh, that's going to hurt. Let's take this rook. Let's bring the bishop back now. So I'm not looking for any major attacks now. Just see if we can support the pieces that we've got, seeing as they're continuing to play. Still looking for this square. So I'm going to bring the knight here. So at least the rook is defending this square. They can always jump down here. If they were going to do something. Rook is down in the centre of the board. Don't know really. We just want to just play nice and steady now. What do we have? Doubling the rooks. Basic. The knight is protecting that square. What's he planning? He came down there quick, didn't he? Let's just go with doubling the rooks, protecting the pawn. Knight is in. It's not coming here, it's not coming here. Any of this business, not sure really what that's doing. So I'm going to just continue with doubling the rocks because that knight was protecting this square. We go up, hit the king. This knight's not got any protection on it at the minute. But just going to hit the king. Maybe drop here. Attacking the pawn. What is he thinking of doing? The knight comes and protects, maybe. We do have a dis discovered check with the bishop on the king. And our knights can't get their rook. It can take a pawn. Can it do anything else? It can go here, put a check on the king. I'm going to take a pawn. And swing and attack the knights.
Let's just continue with that. I never signed. Interesting game. Fifteen. Fifteen and oh. Let's block the pawn. Oh, we were wanting to practice that thing, wasn't we? Gonna bring this pawn here. Still feels a bit ugly if he does take anyway. And just develop the knight. Let's just react to whatever they're doing and let's not get twisted. Don't really want to come in front of here because he's got pawn takes, pawn take, the queen is supporting. Shall we just get the bishop out? Let's just get the bishop out. We're trying this new thing. I'm not really familiar with it because I keep bringing my damn knight out first, supporting. So he's blocked down, so he's not used up a lot of the tempo in terms of development, attacking aggressively and that sort of stuff. Always for the B pawn with the queen. All right, so it gives us time to bring our bishop out to castle. And our white square bishop is going to get hit, but I'm going to castle first. So even this feels better than the old way that I used to keep doing it. So we could hit the head of the snake here. Or we could just bring the knight out. First. Let's bring the knight out first, and then we can hit the head of the snake. Unless, of course, he's driving his knight in here. He's not driving it there, he's driving it towards the bishop. Uh, <laughs> anything the bishop wants to do. No, I think it's okay. Compute, computer will probably say, take this way. But I like taking this way to open up the rook. I'm going to take this way. And through all of that, we've got their weak pawn. Okay, they're moving a bit swift. Knight's feeling this, but there's too many pieces. Head of the snake still. Yeah, let's hit the head of the snake. Take. Shall we go for a bit of a rook action type thing? They're trying to keep our bishop all blocked in. Oh, shh. Piece for a piece. And they've castled. Our queen's going to get hit. Right, what do we have then? What do we have? Try and bring the bishop into life. I think if we go here, it's just going to get hit, isn't it? That's the bounce back again. Mm-hmm. Just going to move the queen off the line there. Is he looking to just damage these with the bishop? Takes, pawn takes, queen sits here. Doesn't have any support though. But they look like they're looking to be extreme. Let's just attack this pawn, center of the snake. We've already taken the head of the snake. Got an exchange. <laughs> I 
could hit the bishop or take the pawn. We don't have the two rooks, so we don't really need the power base of owning the files. So I'm actually just going to push onto the bishop. I'm going to bait a pawn. Let's get baiting. Looks like they're scared, which is good. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. Take it back. I take it back. They're doubling so that the rook can come and attack our queen here. We have sights of something brewing towards their king area. Attacking this pawn twice, but he's protecting it anyway. With his queen and his rook. Feels nice though. Let's um what about this one. Yeah, it's not devastating, but I'm going to go with it. Because it's not that we're gonna take because well he'd lose his queen, wouldn't he, if he did that. So yeah, it's it's okay. But it's not meaty meaty. I think they'll just consider keep doing this because really if we take with a check on the king. Oh, he's brought the knight back protecting. So we gave them something to think about. Which is good. So the next thing we want to do. We're trying to fit this queen in here. But it's there's nothing there. Unless of course we did something like knight here. Then the pawn takes. Queen takes the pawn. Mm -mm -mm. Feels like something like that, you know. We go there, no, takes, queen takes. Got piece, got pieces on there, don't like that one. What about this other knight? This other knight is just blocked though, it can't go here. Well, it can, but... No, 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 no. So he's going to get doubled. The queen is going to get hit. We need to find something quick, sharpish. What is it? Knight. Doesn't have to take because it's not threatening the king. It doesn't. No. There's nothing there, squire. Bishop, pawn takes, queen takes, nothing, zero. Well, I'm going to go with the knight move. I'm going to go with the knight move. It's going to look a kind of messy, but I'm trying to make some type of space around their king. And I think sacrificing this knight is a good thing. I'm going to go with it. I'm going with it. I'm going to take with the bishop and then the bishop does have this. Obviously the king can just go in the corner. They've gone into the tank like we did. I'm going to take with the bishop like we said. There's nothing major at all. There's nothing. I'm just trying to give them something to think about. Making it look like I've got an improved position. Rook's guard in this area. But it's going to be pretty safe there. And we don't have anything else after that really. I mean this bishop. Actually you know. I'm talking wrong. Because if we did get that and it did move there, the rook would just go here and that would be checkmate. 
So there is a bit of solidity in the move. Yeah, so he's moved that because then if the rook does take the bishop, then the rook can take the rook. So we could go this way. So he would have to take with his queen, because if he goes here, there's nothing major. It's just that the queen's covering here, and that's it. <laughs> so nothing, nothing concrete. Bishop puts the check. King can't come here, has to go across. And there's nothing else. Oh. It's a bit unlucky that they saw that. That would have been a fancy piece of kit. But we go there. He goes there. Bring the queen across. Bring the queen across. What I'm thinking is getting this rook to here with the queen being here attacking their queen, but he does have this rook. So that's not going to work. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Is it night time? Night, night. So Bishop goes there. Let's put the check on because that's the only thing we're going to do. I don't think we're going to be fast enough to get the knight up, up, and here. But that's the only thing I can see really that can be positively done. Let's just move it. Only problem is if we go there, we can just take the bishop. If he takes the bishop, we can. We'll have a check with our queen. Would we get his queen off the board? No, not quite. We'll be able to get a bishop. So he's definitely coming for our queen. So we go one. Rook comes down for the queen. Queen comes oh, into the space where the knight wants to go. But I think we can, I think we might get away with it because we're going to have a check on his king, aren't we? No, we're not because, oh, yeah, because when he comes down, if we then go here with a check on the king, king can take the bishop. But then the, when the knight moves, it's the check from the queen, but the rook will just take the queen off the board. Ah, I should have just moved a bit slower there. Right, so it looks like the queen is ending up in the space where the knight wants to go. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I don't can't see it. Would come down here, but then his rook chases him around a bit. But then if I go down there, he just takes the bishop off the board. Ooh. One move out. One move out. Damn it. Nowhere else for the queen to go. It's all blocked apart from this. Or we could sacrifice the rook. He comes down. We go up with a check on the king. His rook takes. We take his rook. But then he takes our bishop. Oh, don't like them apples. No, it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. We tried. It's doesn't hit. Oh, he's protecting this square. They're protecting the square. 
Knight puts the check. King takes the bishop. Knight takes the knight or takes the bishop, whichever one. Knight takes the bishop with a check. Knight takes the knight takes the knight with a check. Knight takes the bishop with a check. Which one is better position? Because this this one is better because it can come and take this pawn, can't it? That's if he does that, he might just take the knight off the board. And just leave the bishop bishop in this position. I think he's just going to take the knight off the board until he's not going to get fancy, it doesn't look like. Check. Check. So it's just going to take it off the board. Yeah. Okay. Queen can take, but we're in this funny position where it's not. There's nothing there. Or oh, we just bring the bishop back. But then he comes down. Yeah. We need to bring the bishop back because they're going to be hitting our queen, aren't they? So we need to bring that back. So now we can take this with a check and take here. Almost feels like it, but the power of the rook is going to be a bit too strong, I think. Yeah, he's going for the rook and the uh, versus a bishop. Um, I would plump for the rook winning. We, I think we played a recent game where we were a rook against the bishop and it's fairly smooth gaining advantage when you've got the rook versus a bishop. All right, have they landed on anything? It's going for the exchange. We don't have to exchange, but it's just going to... If he forgets himself and comes down here and puts a check on, let's not forget the bishop has this. So we could go and attack the rook. Probably then, oops, he's probably then going to bring his rook here. And then come down and get pawns, checks, 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 checks. Let's attack the rook. Hmm. Let's not forget the bishop, because it looks like he's going for a mate. That would be like a checkmate. It's a mate position. Go for it. Rook's guard in that area. Go for it or something, but even then it's just going to be an exchange. Then the rook is going to... Yeah, still the same thing. The rook will be here, then it'll end up taking this pawn off. So seeing as they're aware of that, we may as well move the queen here, mightn't we? Although we'll just lose these pawns, this queen will come here. Ooh, dear me. Start pushing some pawns. And wait for the inevitable. Nothing I can do about it. It's my queen takes, rook comes down, it's on the pawn, it's not doing that, what's the deal, protecting his pawn, maybe we attack but he's just, he can still come down here, Oh, he can't because the bishop's there. <laughs> we move the queen up. 
and then he just comes to this square. Attacking the pawns. The queen is defending, so we don't need to be doing... Well, only reason I'm saying moving there is if he doesn't take and he comes down, we would be able to put a check on the king. Moves out of the way. Tiny bit of pressure, but it's not much. But if they do take, and we take with the pawn, it's on a white square, the rook can easily come here. And we're not defending the pawn, so we've just given up a pawn. And we'll be against the bishop. Oh, dear. Two minutes. Time is running flat. Let's just push this pawn. Might realise that, oh, they need, need to just get this here and here to be attacking the queen. I'm hoping they don't. So there's no else for me to do on that side. I won't get my king across here fast enough to defend. So my king is going to get kind of choked up in this little makeshift castle. Two minutes left. It's got zero increment. Rook's coming in the game, it's on a dark square. Queen comes up, looking to attack the pawn. Not going to happen because after that, what else is there? We'll get a little bit of a passer, but... It's just going to come down with his queen, puts a check on remove. Takes our pawn off. We are not going to be fast enough, I don't think. I think he's wanting to come round and do this sort of thing. Right, I'm biting the bullet. Let's go. I've only got one minute left. I just have to basic. We're in bullet mode now. Let's hope they make a mistake, but check. Move. Starts taking pawns off. Starts pushing this down to try and get promotion. Yeah, but I think if he does... Oh, oh, he's protected. I was just about to say, if he does come all the way down, we'd get his rook off the board. Bring the bishop here. Check. He can go here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bring the queen here, attacking the rook. Let's put a check on. Got a two on one. He moves. Bishop takes or the queen takes. No, we don't want the exchange of the queens, do we? So we're on the rook. Attacks the queen. Oh, have I lost my bishop? No, he's not going to do that because we get a check on the king. And then we've got this. Not that it means much, but... Or maybe the queen goes for the exchange. Ooh, hurt me. Shall we take? No. So we just move the queen. Yeah, we're moving the queen to. I want to be around his king, but I can't even go here. <laughs> Let's go here. 
don't think we'll get away with taking another pawn. 36 seconds. Ooh, he's going for the exchanges. Dude, he's going for the exchanges. Try and get onto a dark square. Why? Don't know, just to go here. But we've got two on one on the rook. Oh, come on. And he's protecting that pawn. 23 seconds. Rook's coming down to put a check on the king. Squeeze this. Checkmate. Oh, you got to be joking me. Man, we were so close. One move away. I think we're getting squished, you know. Queen's coming here. Two on one. No, it's not necessarily going there because the bishop will take the pawn. 17 seconds. Oh, are we finding a magical squish? Not yet. What are they going to cause? Going to take something. What are they doing? Anything crazy? Check on the king. Don't forget, move. Still rook three. Six seconds. <laughs> He's going to do something crazy now because I've only got six seconds left. Four seconds. We'll do something like just take the bishop or something. No checkmate for me. Sad times. Two seconds. Zero seconds. Just going to come down and put a check on the king. Take the queen off the board. Oh, that's unlucky. Let's have a look at the tail of the tape. It's not showing that we did the right move either. So what was it? Look at that massive minus 3.6. Queen takes b7. No. Oh, because we get the bishop for free. But we're down a piece. It's saying take it. And a human would do this. They wouldn't bring the queen back. Oh, God, it's a mate. <laughs> 19 and oh. Let's push through the center. Let's develop the knight. Hmm. Yeah, not a fan. Oops, excuse me. Let's take now. Open up the bishop. It's huffy and puffy for the center pawn. Let me see. Castle. Let's develop the bishop. Exiting through to the queen.
queen's come off the x-ray tempting to do this but i believe he's probably queenside castling and he's looking for the rook to have the open file so i'm going to develop the knights and just swing it around attacking the bishop yep we're not opening the file for you and let's go this way because this pawn is just going to drop onto it if we came here So a little bit of a clever player, this one. Probably what in the top range you can tell just from the way they're moving. It'll be swiftly castling queenside. Not sure it takes that much concentration. And they're going for trying to open the centre and manage the centre without castling first. Which kind of might hurt the game a little bit, but you never know. Let's just bring the knight down. We're just playing on the back now. Just waiting for them to keep overextending. Maybe get a tempo win because they haven't castled. really gone into the tank I think the more they keep the king airy it's probably going to oh just one move support the tape back well I don't think so you had all that time to move and then you've gone and done like some sort of mouse slip I don't think so let's just move the knight get ready to attack the knight and the queen I think this will be the last one for today. This was their seek that I've clicked on and they're not even starting the game. It's terrible. Twenty minute game. Zero increment. Let's open the night. So attack the center. We'll take this. X ray through to the king, making space for castling. Let's castle. Let's put a check on the king. Mm, there's got to be something in this situation. Attacking the knight. Or attacking the knight. Maybe not that one. Yeah, well, I suppose we could. Maybe I'll hang fire on that. Could bring the bishop back, attacking. Which is better? Mm, not really, because the drop. Knight attacking. What feels wrong with that? Takes, takes. Nothing. Let's attack the knight. 
It's only because I've moved it once and moving it again and hoping I've not got creating any holes. Really wanted a pawn to hit the knight. But there's no pawn available. Because we have the X-ray through to the king. Rooks in the centre of the board, it is putting a check on the king, but it does feel a little bit uncomfortable there. Some sort of forky thing, it's just that there's no... Mind you, the bishop now is x-rayed, and that is x-rayed. So the queen is going to have to take, and none of the, the bishop can't take. So we're going to hit the bishop with the smaller piece. So if the queen does take, we take, but the bishop can't take back. Okay, um, so they're attacking our bishop. We do have a check on the king with a capture. Queen doesn't have any protection on. So this pawn taking this bishop is not going to be very fruitful in that sense. So we need to box clever and maybe get the knight out supporting the pawn or even a pawn supporting the pawn, smaller piece. Although, go there, it takes, we take, yeah, that's fine. We go here, takes, and the knight looks better though, doesn't it? Because it can come around here and attack the bishop. Shall we do that? Looks like the signal's going, so they may have left the game. That's a lot of early pressure early part of the game hmm. no. I'm going to claim victory on that that'll do for now <laughs>